right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really cool unboxing. This is a Gerson 1911. So I was at the local gun show and I saw this sitting on the table. So I picked it up and was checking it out. And then I looked at the price tag. When I tell you how much I paid for this, you're not going to believe it. So let's open it up and check it out. This is the Gershon 1911. This is pretty cool. I walked out the door at $485. Out the door. Brand new. So when you pick this gun up, it feels more expensive just right off the bat. I mean, it feels like a more expensive gun. Ambidextrous safety. Look at that. Nice. Let's check out the trigger. Now that is the selling point right there. The trigger is amazing. Remember, $485. You get a lot of gun for your money. The grips, you know, the grips are pretty nice. The color is nice. So I've owned two Rock Island 1911s in the past, and they've always been kind of okay. You know, the edges were kind of sharp. The fit and finish wasn't that great, but they worked. Rock Island 1911s are phenomenal. They work. They go They go boom every time. But the fit and finish was always lacking. This one, there's no sharp edges. The machine marks, the tool marks look phenomenal. I tell you what, let's go outside in the sun and get a better look at this one because inside you really can't see it too well. All right, now that we're outside, we have a little bit better light. Oh, man, only comes at one mag, but that's not a deal breaker. And again, look at that trigger. Uh, skeletonized hammer, skeletonized trigger. It has a really nice grip, uh, nice pick rail on the bottom. And, you know, I just, for the price, you just can't beat this. I hope this gun shoots just as good as it looks. All right, so let's go with the range. For the Gershon, we're going to be shooting this 45 ACP from Two Way Warehouse. It's 230 uh, grain remanufactured brass. Comes in this case, and it's I think around ninety dollars for 200 rounds. Comes in a cool little zip bag. Oh god, that's heavy. So we're going to shoot 200 rounds today. I usually do a 500 round review, but man, with the price of ammo, uh, I might have to scale that down to 300 rounds because I just can't afford it. It's getting pricey. All right, we got the mags all loaded up. I have some cheap pro mags, extended mags. These usually don't work in anything at all. They suck. I got some Wilson Combat 10 rounds and then the factory eight round that came with it. Let's see what it can do. I'm excited. All right, we're gonna do the first mag with the Gerson 1911. You can see there's lots of oil in this thing. So far, so good. About seven mags down, not one hiccup, not one. That's not bad. Let's turn the camera around. Check it out. You know, seven yards, I'll take that all day. I wish these sights were adjustable. See if I can fix that. All right, guys, we are almost done with 200 rounds. Not one failure to feed so far. Um, accuracy is pretty good, pretty good. I wish I could adjust the sights though. Maybe I should have cleaned it first. Nah. Shooting the Gerson 1911 and 45 ACP. Uh, I have my ringer, ace, crack shot, world champion, oh, Chong. Gonna shoot this. concentration 
Oh, see, that did not go into battery. Uh oh. Strike one. They said you're supposed to clean it really good before you uh, take it out and shoot it. Nice. So you had one failure to go into battery. Yeah, it didn't feed. Yeah. It's just like... Pretty sure that was operator error, though. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> the instructions do say clean thoroughly before shooting, but no. <laughs> Disregard. From the box straight to the range. It should work. But yeah, it runs pretty good. Yeah, it runs well. I should probably clean it. <laughs> These are both 45. 45, that's yeah, it. That's what it is. The one on the left is under 500. Look at that. Aside from these little hiccups, have you oiled it yet? Have you taken it down and oiled it? No. Okay. That might, you know. No, man, that's right out of the box. No problem with that. For $500? Yes. <laughs> man, that's a steal, man. All right, we got Barry going to shoot the Gershon 1911. The Gershon. Imported through Cocoa, Florida, made in Turkey. Turkey, it's Turkish. Turkish. Right. Slide runs good. So what do you think? For under 500 bucks, yay or nay? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, a, and I'm not a huge 1911 fan, so if I say yay, it's probably a good deal. Let's do it again. What pistol are we gonna review first? Um. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's another beautiful day in Houston, Texas, and we are finishing the review on this Gerson. You know, so far, so good with this pistol. I mean, we've had a couple hang-ups, and I think that's magazine-related because we've used a few of the same mags, and I've been having some feeding issues with those certain mags. So uh, this is the first 45 i I've owned that has been mag-sensitive. So we'll take a little bit closer look between this pistol and the SIG Scorpion because it's about the closest you can get looks-wise that I have. So let's check it out. Nice. So here we have the Gerson. 45 ACP look at this thing it is pretty nice you know the finish is you know a little wonky in some spots and then you can take a look at the SIG Emperor Scorpion from far away these pistols could be absolute twins but when you get really close that's when the devil are in the details because here in the SIG you have the external extractor uh, the fit and finish is a little bit nicer. Both of these pistols have about the same features, you know, skeletonized trigger, skeletonized hammer. Uh, they both have pick rails. The color is pretty close. Uh, they both have ambi safeties, although this one's a lot stiffer. The SIG is a lot smoother. Um, the, sights on, the sights on the SIG are a lot better. You know, they're higher visibility. Uh, these sights are okay, but I'm going to do something different. I think I'm gonna try and stick a red dot on this. The SIG has been 100% reliable with every type of ammo I've stuck through it. Um, every kind of magazine, no hiccups at all. I don't think I've ever had a failure to feed out of about 2,000 rounds out of this. The Gerson is mag sensitive. The Wilson Combat mags run well, but the mag it came with for some reason, it doesn't like. And the biggest difference between these two pistols is the price. 
The SIG will set you back around fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars, and it's worth it. I absolutely think it's worth it. The Gerson I got for four hundred and eighty-five dollars for a nineteen eleven that is feature packed. Let's keep shooting this pistol today. I got some steel targets set up. See if we can get hundred percent reliability. I brought my A game mags. All right, guys, I have the Gershon all loaded up. I got a couple mags. Let's see if we can get it to fail because it's really dirty by now. About 500 rounds through it, and it's, it's pretty dirty. Nope. This is the Gershon, ow, oh, that's pretty hot. So this is the Gershon MC1911S in 45 ACP. Fantastic budget pistol. All right, guys, we have the Gershon. Final day of the review. I kind of ninja this thing out. Put a red dot, flashlight, and a little comp on the end, and uh, replace the grips. I think it looks pretty cool like this. I've always wanted to do this to a gun. So let's see if this pistol can shoot with all this stuff on it. <laughs> Got all the mags loaded up. I even have a mag of this Pilgrim Ammo in 45 ACP. Super lightweight, man. Just the weight of this one compared to this one, I mean, it's a big difference. So we're going to see if it'll shoot my home defense rounds. Should be all right. I'm stunned at how good this is shooting right now. Woo! All right, we're gonna shoot the home defense Pilgrim ammo. I know it looks ridiculous, but I'm shooting this gun really well. It does look ridiculous though. <laughs> All right guys, that brings us to the end of the review on this 1911 by Gerson in 45 ACP. I really like this pistol a lot. I think it's phenomenal for the money. Under $500, you get a lot of gun. Um, I did put the I did change the grips to Magpul grips, the Crimson Trace sight, and this break. And uh, I'll put the links down below in the pinned comments for where you can get those. But this break I thought was going to be super cheesy and not work. And it actually worked really well. I really feel this combination of parts really helped me tighten up my groups. Uh, of course, it weighs probably a half pound more with all this junk on it. And it's all ninja'd out, but... Um, I dig it, man. I've always wanted to do this to a gun. Out of about the 600 rounds we put through it, we had about seven failure to feeds, and um, most of those were after I added all this stuff. So I'm going to put a stronger spring in it. I'm going to put a Wilson Combat 18 pound spring in it. So that should help to slide with all this extra weight because, you know, weight does matter, especially on 1911s, they can be fickle. If you have an inexpensive gun you want me to look at or review, put it down below in the comments and I'll definitely check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time.